Once you created the playlist that you require, in this case we created a trailers playlist that includes two trailers, head over to the schedule tab. The schedule tab allows you to create schedules that will run your playlist. Once you get there, you should see a create new schedule block interface and this allows you to create a new schedule block. So the first thing you're going to go through is the block name. And the block name is anything you want to call that block that you are scheduling. We are going to call this block trailers. Then what you will want to do is set a block type. There are three types, range, specific, and daily. Range is when you set a schedule for a range of days. So in this situation, we are going to set up this playlist to run from, say, January 1st through January 31st. And we are going to set the target playlist as trailers. What this is going to do is run this trailers playlist endlessly from this date to that date and it will run it from 12 a.m. to the end of the day and it will just run that playlist for that day range. The second block type is specific. For the specific type you select the specific days. In this case we're going to select the 1st, the 11th, and the 20th to run these schedules and of course you can set the start time and end time daily schedule type will run your schedule every day from the start date that you input in and from the start time and end time that you input. For this situation we are going to use range and use the days that we selected. Here's the calculate end time checkbox. This will calculate the amount of time it will take for your playlist to run one time. If you set the start time and stop time to run for an amount of time that is bigger than your playlist then it will just keep overlapping your playlist until it reaches the end time. In this situation, we want to run this target playlist over and over again. So we are going to leave the set time with the start time and stop time and leave the start date and the end date and we're going to select the days of the week. In this case, we don't want the target playlist to run on Saturdays and Sundays. We just want it to run during the week. We're going to go ahead and submit that. Then once you have saved your schedule, it will populate your schedule list and this will show what is currently running. The schedules will appear right away once you saved your schedule block and you should see the schedule block that you created right here in the schedule list. And of course, if you ever need to enable or disable the schedule block, you can go ahead by toggling this enable button and you can see that the schedule clears out. Or you can bring it back by toggling enable again and as you can see it brought it back. You can test the results of your schedule by hitting this launch viewer button. This sums up scheduling and I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.